Hello to anyone who hears this as it is being broadcast. My name is Samuel Deganji, and I have decided to speak on uh, <clears throat> on something that started at the very beginning of the Bible, if you were. It's Genesis 2.18, and it is not good, let me fix my mic, you're going to hear that, it is not good that man should be alone. Genesis 2.18. Now, when I was in college, I was usually on the dean's list until I had a physics class or an algebra class or a trig class. Then I suddenly was knocked off the dean's list. It was a routine joke in my college. And uh, it stands to reason I'm not the best when it comes to math. But if it is not good that he should be alone, then by proxy, sounds fancy, then it stands to reason that it's not good that she should be alone either. And I think it's interesting to note you can't say that peas go well with carrots, but it doesn't matter if the carrots go with the peas. No, it's going to ruin the recipe. So what he's saying is it is not good that we should be alone. It's interesting to note that that is the first time in the Bible that anything is referred to as not good. I have never heard that preached anywhere before, but I noticed it. Because when couples separate, it leaves a massive hole, a massive vacuum. And if, you, if you're in a situation where this has happened, or where you think you may be the one that's about to leave, you remember you may be taking everything that someone has from them you may be removing everything that they have. And you may be, you're thinking, well, we, he has more, he, he or she has more, they have their job, they have their interests, they have this, that, or the other. The Bible addresses that oddly enough. When David took Uriah, the wife, Bathsheba, it's interesting to note as well that David had not yet been reprimanded for having extramarital affairs. He was not addressed for concubines. I'll let parents explain that to their children. He was not reprimanded for a great number of things that he did. Fury fell upon him when he stole another man's wife. And I mention this because Uriah was an elite soldier, Samuel 2.12. To be an elite soldier did not mean that you got a Nike deal and 10 minutes of fame back then. Being an elite soldier meant that you lived in the palace. Uriah was not poor. And yet, verse 3, also 2 Samuel, he had nothing except his little lamb, his wife, nothing. His job was considered nothing. His place in the palace, his status, everything he had accomplished was considered nothing in comparison to his wife according to the scriptures. In verse 4, he was considered a poor man. And what was she worth? In verse 5, David said that, not knowing he was talking about himself, that whoever took this poor man's little lamb should pay for the lamb four times over. That means that no matter what you have, if you had to reduce it to dollars and cents in earthly terms, your husband and wife is worth four times more than everything that you own, and therefore it is not good that man should be alone. Thank you. Thank you.